So the real estate story, New York style, Manhattan's newest nickname neighborhood, Nomad. <laughs> Sandra Smith joins us from there. And Sandra, you are standing in an apartment worth $2.3 million. It is, and it's about 1,900 square feet, and Jackie Teplitsky is actually uh, the realtor that you're in charge of selling this particular property. A lot of folks are saying two bedrooms, 1,900 square feet, but this is Manhattan. That's what you pay. You, you're selling these quickly in this environment. Yes, absolutely, because we have people coming from all over. We have demographics, a big demographics change in New York. What we is have, that exactly? So we have in, the international buyers that are coming in to buy. We have the families that are deciding not to move uh, to the suburbs and actually to stay in the city. We have the young professionals that want to work in Google that it's, you know, uh, very nearby here. We have basically every single demographics in the world. We have the women that want to live here. What I th and that's really interesting. One thing I found really interesting is that you said a lot of the young families, the, the, the single folks that marry, have a kid, they usually move out to the suburbs. They're choosing to stay in the city now and buy properties like this with two bedrooms. What sort of amenities do they look for? The first thing, washer and dryer. <laughs> it's one of the most coveted, you know, features in an apartment because they don't want to go to the basement uh, in order to be able to wash their clothes. And especially when you have kids, you know, they, they have basically a lot of laundry. There's obviously a pretty spacious kitchen for a New York apartment mm -hmm. as well. That's probably a necessity. Exactly, because they want to be able to be able to entertain and be able to look at their kids while they are actually cooking. So that's why this type of kitchen that is open, it's very much in demand. All right. You talk about these international buyers that are flooding the market. Mm -hmm. Are they taking out loans or are they paying cash? The international buyers, most of them is all cash. The domestic buyers are the ones that are still taking mortgages. Who are those buyers in general? Where are they making their money? Is it old money? Is it new money? I would say all of the above, but we're actually seeing much more new money than old money. The old money, they still are going into different areas in the city, but you have a whole new generation of new money coming in. And, and real quick, we're going to have to leave it there, but the baby boomers, they're choosing not to go by in sunny Florida. They'd rather have a place in the city by the shows and restaurants. Too boring in Florida. They want to go to the restaurants. They want to go to the opera. They want to be able to take a taxi instead of driving everywhere. Fascinating. All right, Jackie Teplitsky, thanks for joining us. Guys, $2.5 million. This is the middle of Manhattan. We're on 30th Street, right by the Empire State Building. And this is what you get. But you are close to all that stuff. And that's really the elegance of living in Manhattan and the real estate market here thriving. I mean, I have to tell you, Sandra, I cannot believe what, what I'm seeing in Manhattan. I mean, open houses, as I'm sure you're finding out from your guests, packed across the city right now. It